You already know what it is, man. Shout out to every single one of y'all. Gang, 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 gang. What's popping on this lovely Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we even get started, you know what I'm saying? I gotta give a shout out to The Brick by Byron Harmon, a thriller, a murder, mystery, hip hop style documentary. This will be one of the sponsors of the He Got Smoke tour. I will be having, you know what I'm saying? His book will be around. I will be promoting it. Got a commercial coming up. There's actually some lines that you might have heard from me, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit going on. So shout out to Byron Harmon, you know what I'm saying? And this book is something that you will see and hear about. Let's get to it though. Shout out to everybody out there that supports what we got going on, all the people that's been hitting me up, all of the events that we got coming up. I got some events that we about to do. It's crazy. I had to I had to turn down one event because I was about to get double booked for another event on the same day. I hope my haters are living the same way. Yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. But I know they're not. Well, I know they're not. You know what I'm saying? I know they're stressed. I know they're angry and things like that. I see they're still chirping and things like that. They're still trying to say they didn't take, they didn't steal from Pat Stay. We saw the screenshots, fellas. We, 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 fellas, fellas, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If you guys are gonna be the dirt detectives for all of battle rap, you have to realize that we've seen your shit too. Just saying, we, we saw it, bro. We saw it, man. Don't be phony, bro. We saw it. This motherfucker's lying. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Just. Live it up and move on. Life goes on, you know what I'm saying? Because if you didn't take anything from him, you wouldn't have to delete his name out of the chat the other night. So we're done here. You guys are making two, three-hour blogs. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. I talked about you for a minute and about five seconds. That's it. That's all you get. Let's move on. Um, battle rap, battle rap. Let's move right on, man. So, <sighs> Geechee Gotti is not battling Opera today on iBattle. I did see um, that... I, Lex Luthor released a statement, you know what I'm saying? I'll, speak, I'll read on the statement real quick. I think I saved it, you know what I'm saying? I was at the gym earlier. I hope everybody out here is doing good, too, in life, man. He said, uh, Oppa vs. Gigi is canceled and will not be rescheduled for a third time. Oppa did not deserve this. Our fans did not deserve this. And neither did the staff slash supporters. We still have a great event tonight. Support the pay-per-view for us if you can. We need it now more than ever. And like, nigga... What made you the nigga to jump out the window and just get the... <laughs> I'm so flabbergasted, bro. <laughs> I, am flab I am flabbergasted, bro. I'm flabbergasted, bro. Oh, God. I'm so confused, bro. These niggas got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about... He's talking to correspondents to... Geechee Gotti, who was kind of like the front man, like they kind of front loaded this a lot of their investment in this card in a Geechee Gotti versus Appa battle, you know what I'm saying? Appa's a really good MC, Geechee Gotti's good too, and I see all the comments and everybody's mad, you know what I'm saying, and Aggie and things like that. I don't really know what happened or what the reasoning is, but I see even on the caffeine promotion, it says Fallen Soldiers 3, and they have Geechee Gotti's name, like they're really promoting it. Because what happens is, with a lot of these leagues, they will put a lot of stock in one artist. The artist costs a lot of money. They're going to book them. They want to bring them out. They want to use that person's name in order to help drive revenue. That's why people be saying promo, 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 promo. You know what I mean? That's why people hit up people who can really promo to put them on pay-per-view and not people who be hating. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why they, they, they don't work the same way. You know what I'm saying? You don't get the same shots. when You don't get them shots. I'm sorry. It just don't happen like that. And even in life, now what we're going to do, we're going to compete with success from now on. Just show me what you're doing that's better. Show me the moves that you're making. Show me the things. Make me mad. Make me want to aspire to do more. Because I'm not going to be here to hate on no other black man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just, I just don't got the energy for that. So, when you see these leagues, they're booking an artist, bringing them in, trying to use their name in order to push the brand to the next level. There are a lot of leagues who have built very successful platforms off of up and coming talent battling against names. Bullpen is one. They built a lot of good names out of their league and catalog from battling against bigger names, getting Charlie Clips, getting Shotgun Shook, getting these names to battle against their talent to get us to watch them and help build them. Clone came up that way, Trez came up a lot of that way. Trez worked hard, obviously, they all worked hard. But the, the way we really started locking in and focusing eyes on these guys is when they got shots versus bigger names. And a lot of those bigger names were not on 
bigger leagues. They came from those developmental leagues, is what I would say. And I'm and they're good, really, really good leagues, gateways. iBattle is a premier gateway league in America right now. I mean, like in New York, they got shit rocking. They got a whole culture, a cult following. They got a lot of dope MCs down there. They got the CJ, they got the Low Supreme, they got uh, Def the Kid is battling over there. Uh, a lot of other people is battling over there too. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Fucking, um, like I said, Feeboo's over there too. Y'all just mentioned uh, Oppa. These niggas, they, they are some gunners over there. They rapping really well. So they needed uh, the promotion and they need the card, you know what I'm saying? The people are still copping. I'm gonna see if I can still see it or whatever the case may be. But I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of the, a lot of media is uh, is on some meh with the, with, the, with the battle rap right now. Cause I, I, I talk to a lot of different media and they talk to other media and they're saying that the treatment, a lot of the battle has been, been like, yo, we don't need media, we don't need media. So if you don't need media, a lot of them is thinking about, you know, just taking a weekend off, spending time with their family. Like the process, I met the criteria to be selected. But I was. I'm not gonna sit around and waste my whole Saturday when they be like, "Yo, we don't give a fuck about y'all. Y'all only popping because y'all watch us." Nah, 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 nah. nah. We just showed y'all last week that uh, niggas got some power around here. You know what I'm saying? Get the order. Get the flour around here. I'll show you niggas that we really got some power around here. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could cook up a hundred thousand views in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Don't be the next contestant on that summer jam screen. So uh, I battle. You know what I'm saying? Definitely needs the support. And they need people to, you know, cop the pay-per-view and still watch it if you can, you know what I'm saying? There's some, still some good battles on there and shit. Uh, let me pull the card up right quick. <sighs> Chef Trez versus Los Preen. JC versus JR. Ryder versus Def the Kid. That's going to be a good battle. Eunice versus Knox. Mozzie versus Kang. Um, and a lot of other battles on there, you know what I'm saying? It's going down to Staten Island. It's going down to day 3.30. You know what I'm saying? The pay-per-view is going to be out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's keep it moving. But, um, you know what I'm saying? If I see some of it, it won't be today. I'm about to take my kids bowling. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, the man's got plans. I'm out. So I, I won't be watching no battle rap today. Um, so moving on, you got the motherfucker, uh, Geechee Gotti. So he's not there. He's not bad. I don't know what the reason is, but I'm going to just say it like this. I feel like that's a, ri that's a risky ass battle anyway. I ain't taking that. I'm good. I'm good. So if it, if it didn't happen two times, don't book it again. Keep it moving. Keep Abba doing this thing because I'm telling you, a lot of these battles, a lot of these artists be looking at it as just bags. You know what I'm saying? Like when I talk to them, they'll call it like, I'll take 2800 for you and 3500 for him. I might take 1900 for them over there, but you really probably wasn't going to get, <laughs> especially if they got some other shit coming up, you're going to get, pro your product's going to be stepped on. I'm just being, your product is going to be stepped on. I'm just being, just being honest. If the first time I'm hearing about a battle rapper is because they battling against a big name, then it might be not. It might not be what it is. I'm just saying, man. You might be getting some dummy work. I'm just being honest. Um, more shit going on. JC versus J2 came out. Very interesting battle. I was watching that joint last night. I'm not gonna lie. It was wild late, so I didn't finish it. But I had that joint like one one going into the third. I don't know. Like, I, hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what the hell's going on. I might have to go back in there and watch that joint. It was both firing off. Another joint came out, uh, Snake Eyes. Oh, man, get in here, bro. Let me holler at you for it. Pity the fool. Oh, my new shit. Yeah. Hack your body. Yeah. My new shit. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> Second, my dog. All right, so, um, I know, uh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I got to water the flow, and I know you got to shed skin in order to grow um but what the hell is <laughs> you battle see <laughs> now here's the deal i'm not i ain't gonna wild on you i heard you did a video it was talking about me the other day it's cool i don't watch no videos about me especially if it's gonna be a negative channel why i don't need to ruin my day by watching anything that you have to say when it's a 99.99999 percent chance you said something about me first right so you said some shit about me first i dissed you my diss was better right conference finals between the Celtics and the miami heat Boston with a three to two edge. You got in your feelings, you jump back on camera again, say some more shit, that's cool. Well, you got a battle that just dropped. I just, <laughs> you make this shit too easy. Come on, son. Now, come on, bro. Like, now, now, what the fuck you want me to do? Now, what do you want me to say when I see you go out that way? I'm like, oh. <laughs> Please explain that shit to me. Now, I'm the hater if I say T-Top 3 OG. 
I'm the hater if I recap his bars about you getting beat with your own bed. Like, I'm not, am I wrong? Did it not happen in the battle? Did you not get 30? Please, let's talk together. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Life is hard. It's hug me. Don't reject me. Or make blogs to disrespect me blatantly or indirectly. Come on, my nigga. Come on. Let me let me holler at you, bro. Got your ass smooth. <laughs> you great, bro. You gonna always keep a battle, though. You gonna always keep... Because you promote great. And like I said, that's the reason why I changed your name from the Brooklyn Brawler <laughs> to the Harlem Hoodlum. I got that stick. I got that tool. I'm yeah. packing. You know what I'm saying? Because... You are gonna always put up a good fight for a couple rounds, but you definitely are gonna lose. You lost, man. I get out of here. You got 30, bro. That was a 30, boy. I don't hit nothing. You, y'all wanna know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But he fights good enough to like almost be in it, but then he'll do some dumb shit to take himself out of it. Like he says some rhyme like, Biggie, 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 can't you see? I like my fries and my chicken extra crispy. I said, oh yeah, this nigga lose. <laughs> I was like, nah, hell nah. I said, ah, oh, nah, 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 nah. I said, Snake is throwing the game today, man. But you definitely lost. You know what I'm saying? What he said? What T Tubbs said? <laughs> he only see half the story. He said, the windows of the eye to the soul. Well, I only seen half the story. And he told that. <laughs> what would he say, Ma? I got my eye on you. <laughs> Yo, he clowned the fuck out of you, man. I, and you know. You got air fried. Now, I ain't gonna lie. You definitely was I. Right. You ain't do too bad. You ain't die, die, die. But you definitely ain't win. You know what I'm saying? Like, not at all. And then the third round, he was talking through the nigga material and the shit. When he was talking about the fight, you talking to talk the nigga around and shit like that. So, I mean, come on, son. You can't, you can't, come on, son. If you're gonna style out, you can't wild out, my nigga. Like, you talking all in the nigga rounds and shit. Like, how you gonna get his shit off and you talking all through his shit? Come on, son. Like, let's, let's, let's tighten the fuck up, man. Tighten, tighten up for the next one. And I don't wanna see no more blogs about me <laughs> disrespect me blatantly or indirectly, nigga. You diss me, I diss you, you still my dog. Man, get Be a good kid. Get the fuck on, nigga. Get on, nigga. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> uh, Bill Collector has chess. I like that battle. I like Bill versus chess. Going down to Philly on the Battle Academy. Battle Academy is putting together a card, man. They putting together a dope, a pretty dope card. We're gonna see how it all folds out. They do have snail snake. Get, 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 you got K Walker next, nigga. You better not fucking get dirty to get, or you gonna be right back in my office, nigga. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I like I like building chess though. Chess on a hundred is good. Bill was on tilt in his last joint. You get the wonder wheel, you wonder why. You know what I'm saying? That shit was fire. But uh. I got, I got Bill winning that shit. <laughs> I got Bill in Philly. I got Bill. I don't even know what Chess is gonna come with. I ain't hating no Chess. I fucks with Chess. He was he was pretty good in his last joint versus Rex. I had Rex winning. But in Philly, and what Bill is able to do, Bill don't really lose a lot of battles in general. He definitely don't lose a lot of battles in Philly. So you know that shit is dope. And like I said, there's a lot of battles, a lot of cards and shit going on. But I'm tell y'all now, leagues and league owners, y'all want to get shit done. You better start hitting up. Some of the people that you fuck with don't gotta be me and making sure that they got access to see your pay-per-view even if you don't even if they don't watch that shit. Cause a lot of these bloggers is not out here buying pay-per-views, but I'm saying right now, cause the way they feel in the energy, they are not copping. Niggas keeping their cards in their wallet. And a lot of them are talking to me behind the scenes, letting me know what they ain't about to do. So nobody's gonna nobody's gonna be up there blogging and taking a whole weekend off when y'all niggas like fuck it, you don't need the bloggers and shit, you know what I'm saying? I just won a war this weekend. And they people know too, a lot of people behind the scenes, they, they telling them, they coming to me like, yo, why are you doing like that? Why are you doing like that? It's crazy, son, but it is what it is. And the only reason why I said something about it today is because they made another two hour blog yesterday. It's like, bro, like, give it up, man. It's over. It's over. No way, Jose, it is over. Y'all take care, I'm out of here. Gang, 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 nigga. Ha, ah, ah. ha.